right, Pisces, let's do another reading for another group of my Pisces who need a message for the weekend. Happy Friday, y'all. Happy birthday to all my Pisces. All right, wishing you abundance, love, and happiness. Peace, love, and chicken grease. All right, Pisces, what messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to hear? For those Pisces, looking for a message, Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, please allow me to give clear and concise messages to those who are searching. Good, that was two. Okay, so we have the pin. First card out, new job or career. Woo -woo. So those of you guys looking for a new job or career that may be in the horizon, okay? This reading was intended to be the next 72 hours, so this could be going into Monday. Maybe Monday you guys will be receiving a phone call. Maybe later today. I know by the time this reading uploads, today will probably be over for most of you. Yes! <laughs> there goes my nose. All right. Don't bite me. It's cold as shit out. Anyways, bag. Something important, such as a new job or a raise. Yes! Money bag, money bag. Eh, eh, eh. Look at this. Both of this is like both of these is like new job and career. And then something important such as a new job or a raise. Get into that money bag, money bag. Okay, some of you guys may be getting a better paying job. Some of you guys could be getting a bonus, a promotion. Um, some of you guys may just be receiving some type of money here. All right, what else for Pisces? This is looking good. I like it. I hope y'all like it. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. Key, successful outcome to all your problems. Boom, Pisces. Some of you guys may be getting a new key to something. A new home. A new car. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Bob, Bob Barker up in this bitch. <laughs> okay. Anyways. <laughs> I love it when we have good readings. It just makes me happy. What else for Pisces? What else do they need to know? What messages do you have for my people? All right. The seahorse. Family matters. Could be good. Could be bad. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So some of you guys could be dealing with family matters. Dealing with family. Some of you guys could be getting some family money. Some of you guys could be moving in with family. Some of you guys could be um, sus, uh, sus, sus, solving, sus, sus, solving successfully some type of family matters. Okay. Maybe there, there's some money that like makes all your problems go away. I'm not saying money makes all everybody's problems go away, but it sure makes things a little bit better, doesn't it? Because in today's world, you know, they always say money is the root of all evil. But in today's society, it's like if you don't, I don't know, sometimes less is more, you know, more money, more problems. But um, anyways, success. Last card. I'm digging it, Pisces. Whatever's coming towards you at the desk, pay attention to your work. So stay focused, keep working. Uh, make sure all paperwork, make sure you're reviewing all paperwork or documents, okay, with this desk, because I see like the feather documents on the table. Make sure you're reviewing anything. Um, uh, what deck do I want to use? I've been wanting to use this deck, so let's use it. Okay. Do we even have to clarify this? Like, all right. I'm not going to clarify the new job or career because that's pretty, like, I, you know, it's not really anything to clarify there. Uh, something important such as a new job or a race. So whatever this is, this is coming in for you. And it's there. And you have successful outcome to your problems and you have success here. This could be surrounding some type of family matters, okay? Let's see what this successful outcome to your problem is, though. This could be in the form of money, a new job. Say if you've been looking for a job and you guys have, you know, you and your family have been struggling because maybe there's only one income or whatever, the other person may be getting a job or you know, coming into, you know, or someone may be getting a raise and that could help out some type of a family situation. Maybe some of you guys, um, for some of you guys, I'm hearing that maybe you guys are taking care of a mother or a father, a sibling or something to that nature. Um... There may be some money, you know, or a raise or something coming towards you that can help you with this as well. Show me the successful outcome to Pisces problem. Oh, five of wands. So maybe this has to do with some type of conflict or some type of arguments or disputes. 
Three of Wands. Uh, someone's ships are definitely coming in here in the distant horizons, looking towards your future. Some of you guys could be turning your back on some type of drama or conflict here. Queen of Cups, okay, Pisces, motherly energy. Some of you guys could be mothers. Some of you guys um, are just a very nurturing, intuitive, empathic. Some of you guys may even have a couple small pets. Yellow could be yellow or red, maybe um, good colors to wear at this time. I know that sounds really weird, but hope you guys see what I'm looking at. It's like oranges, yellow, orange, green, yellow key, yellow money bag, money bag, brown money bag, whatever. And then she's dressed in gold, red. Colors, so maybe wearing lighter colors could lighten your mood. Okay. But again, this Queen of Cups is turning her back on this conflict, this drama. And Three of Wands can also talk about turning your back or waiting. Some of you guys may also be anticipating some type of an argument or fight here. Maybe because you did turn your back, but the Wheel of Fortune just showed itself. Some, some, uh, the wheel will be turning in your favor. Okay. Tell me more. Page of Swords. What I was saying, review all documents carefully. There is a new opportunity coming in. You may be receiving a message or getting some type of information about this. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could have been something that was delayed as well, but this is a new opportunity that you're going to be passionate about. There's a lot of fire energy here. Some of you guys may have fire in your chart. And temperance. Yeah, more fire. So something here is being balanced out. I feel like you guys have been very patient, very um, using your intuition, healing, okay? Balancing your light, your dark, your emotions, and your desires. Um, tempering yourself. But I feel like some of you guys could be anticipating some type of arguments or fights. This could be about you going after something new or starting something new. Or you just turning your back on a situation. Whatever this is, I feel like it's it's going to be a successful outcome. Okay, show me family matters. What is this about? So, you know, some people may not like the choices you're making, but ultimately you're the one that's making the choices for you, not for them. Um, so, whatever. Four cups, three of pentacles. Someone felt... Someone may be wanting to work together, collaborate with you. This could be either someone who rejected you or made you uh, feel rejected or you rejected this person and they want to work together with you. Show me family matters. What is going on here? The star Aquarius energy. The high priestess, damn Pisces Aquarius energy. You guys are using your intuition, going after some type of wish fulfillment. A lot of healing. Um, you guys are very inspiring Okay, you guys have some type of mystical, intuitive knowledge. There's a lot about intuition, being very tempered, very balanced, healing, new beginnings. Your ships are coming in. You may have some people mad about that, Pisces. Seven of Pentacles, you guys have made some type of good investment by walking the hell away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys have planted good seeds here. Something that you've been nurturing is actually growing, taking off. Eight of Cups, you may be walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you, okay? And that's okay. Four of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, some of you guys are woke, you know? Some of you guys may have been still asleep, but I feel like some of you guys are woke. You guys have woken up to, like, something here. Some of you guys are straight, like, you guys are star seeds and pass um you guys have some type of esoteric knowledge wisdom here some of you guys are also meant to be a star meant to be seen in the public eye some of you guys could even be like models or just very very beautiful elegant um what's the word i'm looking for uh not exotic but like how do i look at very how do i look at <laughs> uh like very pure and healthy like some of you guys may have been eating cleaner doing things that like transforming what do you call that 
like when you know and I'm, I'm not saying i don't see pregnancy here maybe some of you guys are mothers but or fathers but this is like someone who who's glowing <laughs> The hangman. Damn, there's like a lot of your energy showing up too. And the emperor. Some of you guys are bossing up. Or some of you guys could be getting clarity about an Aries, a father, a boss, or just about like what it is that you're skilled at. And taking action and doing so like very, very authoritatively like, okay, queen of pentacles, six of pentacles falling on the ground. So yeah, some of you guys are... Come, stepping into some type of abundance, there could be something coming towards you. So well, obviously some type of money, payout, generosity, or some of you guys maybe being very generous. The energy that you put out is also the energy that you receive. So if you guys have been feeling like you guys have been, man, I've been doing this and this and this, and I've been trying to help people and, and put my best foot forward, just know that that's coming back to you, okay? Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This is Knight of Swords. Oh my gosh, why do these keep going on the floor? Nine of Cups. So whatever this information is coming towards you, it's coming very quick and it's going to make you happy. It's some type of wish fulfillment. Okay, letter A may be significant. Initial J, B, A. Maybe very significant. Uh, like, you know, an initial, a street address, uh, your street name, you know. Um, whatever this is, there's some type of positive outcome here. Some of you guys are waking up. What's this four of swords in the reverse? Some of you guys may have even felt restless. The emperor showing itself again, two of wands. Some of you guys have made some type of good choice to take action, take charge of, yeah, the page of wands, planning, being excited, inspired, enthusiastic. What is this four of swords in the reverse, please? Um, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you guys are waking up and that's like bringing in some type of a new opportunity. Um, this is also, the Ace of Pentacles is a pay raise. You know, it's a new job. It's a new career. It's a promotion. Um, something to that, to that nature. And this could be from something that you've done in the past. This could also be um, some type of past abundance coming towards you. I see bunny rabbits, butterflies, and kitty cats. And rats <laughs> and children. I don't know. And frogs. I don't know if any of that's significant to you, but I was drawn to it. Okay. This cat has like a wonder, like a curious look on his face. Bunny rabbits can symbolize, you know, birds sometimes, butterflies, new beginnings, frogs, prosperity. Y'all got some good shit coming, Pisces. Sunflowers. Look up the meaning of a sunflower. You guys will see why I like sunflowers so much. Anyways, okay. Oh my goodness. Six of Swords. Moving away to calmer water. Six, six. Yeah, something. You guys are like, and King of Mother Evan Cups. You got the King and Queen of Cups here. Ooh. Some of you guys are moving on to a soulmate. You got the King and Queen of Cups here. A true pair, a match, a divine counterpart. And that's what you're moving on to. A soulmate. This person you may ha have shared a past life with. Why is the Six of Cups here? I hate to say this, but y'all, for some of you guys, not for all of you guys. Some of you guys, this is someone new with this Ace of Pentacles. This is someone new for others of you. This could be someone that you shared a past life with. You may not know them in this lifetime, whatever. Um, or this is just a brand new soulmate, whatever. Um, Six of Cups, though. This could be someone from your past who may have rejected you, overlooked you, um, or you overlooked this person, or you just weren't really interested in this person. And now you're like, oh, shit. You're seeing this person as, you know, sometimes we grow and it's like, you know, when you're younger, you may look at someone superficially, like, and not everybody. <sighs> Luna, stop. You may look at superficial things like how they dress, how they look, um, you know, physical features. And as you get older, you kind of realize, like, someone that you start to fall in love with people's, uh, like, who they are on the inside, like, the love that they can give their, you know. And you kind of, sometimes you don't, how do I say it? Some people have like high expectations in the physical 3D, like um, superficial, 
high expectations, how much money they make. And now I feel like whoever this is, this is love. This is like genuine love. So some of you guys could be healing some type of family matters. Mother, father energy is here. Maybe this person's a, fa a father. Maybe you're a mother. This could be a blended family with the six of cups coming out here. For a lot of you guys, I feel like this is something new. A lot of you guys have like mastered your emotions, tempered your emotions. I don't know if you guys are... Why is this five of wands out here? Are you guys anticipating? I feel strongly some of you guys are anticipating some type of like fight or argument. This could be some type of legal legalities. Um, something being fair or yeah, and she's blindfolded. Ten of wands and the devil fudge me. Someone here is like extremely stressed out over some type of like. Capricorn, Libra, possibly Leo. I just spit. Whoops. And Sag. Um, someone's extremely stressed out, burdened, weighed down, exhausted over some type of legalities or some type of drama, conflict over something being fair and balanced. Maybe someone did something that's like not to their highest good. What's the devil? Three of pentacles, king of pentacles, five of cups reversed. This could be about money, somebody working together, collaborating, putting in that work, okay? Five of cups reversed. There's something here that, what's the five of cups reverse? super conflicting the five of cups talks about like no longer letting go of any sadness regret remorse Maybe somebody is like trying to heal and get over something, some type of emotional pain or like sadness here. When it comes to a marriage, a family, we got Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag. Four of Wands and Ten of Cups, that's like a marriage, a family dynamic. The Hermit, someone may have ghosted someone, took action. Maybe towards a fire sign, a queen of wands, or just someone who's very attractive, confident, fiery, feisty, bold. There could be a family here or a marriage. This is super conflicting, though. Someone started something new. Should have just left the drama alone. Someone may have married a snake. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. Or someone here is like using, you know, learning some type of spiritual lesson or getting some type of like somebody may also be guided to like heal some type of a family dynamic or a marriage. The devil. Someone here may work a lot. What's his Ten of Wands? Again, someone may work a lot. Two of Cups, Page of Cups. So someone's stressed out about apologizing or expressing their emotions about a soul, about a soulmate connection okay so what's justice a libra there goes that queen of pentacles again 
Now, someone may have married or offered something to the Death card, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this could be like, maybe this is someone's fucking family that's just toxic. Like, like siblings, mother, father, sister, brothers, uncles, cousins, someone. Maybe somebody's worried about some type of conflict with something here needs to change in order to like I don't know. I'm I'm not even gonna like feed into this shit. Okay. If you guys want a personal reading, you can, you know, information's in the description box below. Whatever this is, I feel like you've already like turned your back on it. Both like it's like the queen the three of wands can talk about turning, you know, turning your back on something focused on your future moving forward and the conflicts over here. So it's like you turned your back on the conflict and again the queen of cups has her back turned towards the conflict as well. So whatever this is, I don't feel like I feel like this is behind you. You could also like um This could even be people who, um, like, you may have turned your back on, on family or some shit. <sighs> or whatever. Anyways, I feel like there's people watching you have some type of new beginning. Again, you walked away from a situation. You've woken up to a situation. Now you're going towards a soulmate. Nine of Cups. Some type of wish fulfillment. The star, the Nine of Cups is here. Ace of Pentacles. This is something new. You're, you're moving in the Ace of Wands too. You're going to something better. And I feel like people are watching you. You're very patient, very balanced, tempered, very intuitive. You're an earth angel or a star seed, whatever you want to, you know, vibe with. I feel like there's some shit here in the back that five of cups reverse. Maybe you're just like no longer crying over something. You don't really care. Emotionally, you're not, you don't care. For some of you guys, you could have, this could even, you could have been dealing with the twin flame. Well, or soulmate, whatever, or maybe someone you're married to, or this is just family. I don't know. Two of Cups can literally just mean like partnerships, you know? I don't know who all these people are. You guys may know, but I don't, and I don't have the energy to figure it out. Uh, who's this Queen of Wands? <laughs> <laughs> Just give me one card, the Ace of Cups, so give me one more. I wasn't expecting that, but there could have been a lot of passion, a lot of lust. Someone may have started a new beginning in love with this Queen of Wands, someone who is very attractive, confident, but this was like based out of passion, desire, lust. There, I don't know. Is there love? Is there love? Toxic love? <laughs> What's this king and queen of pentacles? What's their story? What's this king and queen of pentacles out here for? There could have been a couple working together trying to like end. Oh, planning to, to end something. King and queen of pentacles.
Who the hell are these people? Seven of Wands, Full Card, Aries. What's this King and Queen of Pentacles? The Hermit again. It could be a Virgo here. Seven of Pentacles. And the Emperor. I feel like someone's taking charge of a situation. Someone's gotten some type of enlightenment. And I feel like they're putting up boundaries, setting boundaries so that they can have a new beginning, take charge of a situation and invest into something. Somebody may have like... <coughs> Whoa. Yeah, Ten of Cups reverse, the Wheel of Fortune reverse. I feel like these two people may have been trying to like end the family dynamic. Someone, Empress and Emperor, Six of Coins. I don't know. Emperor to Emperor. I mean, yeah, Emperor to Empress. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups. Somebody did something. I don't know. Um, whatever the case is, there's divine counterparts all over this reading, and somebody may have even offered somebody a dirty offer. Okay. Could have been this Queen of Wands. Someone who's very attractive. Fiery. Boom. Oh. There was some type of family dynamic. This is Five of Cups down here. I just don't get it. Like, whatever this is, I don't even care. I mean, temperance. Yeah, someone's wanting to, like, balance something out and, like, heal a situation and, like, let you know let the let the sadness regret whatever go yeah someone's making a choice to go towards wish fulfillment but there could be delays or someone here who felt felt stuck six of cups because of something in their past i don't know Or siblings could have been involved. Anyways, I'm so done. That's fucking up the good reading. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Right? None of you guys care. Because you guys got good things coming. There's some type of family matters that I feel like um, there's going to be a successful outcome. If there was any type of problems, um, don't focus on that. Okay? Um, someone may be turning their back on people who are like meddling, causing drama in a situation. That's going to turn out successfully. You got success all over here. You got a new job, new craze, new craze, <laughs> new, new job raise. Okay. Something here is coming in. Yeah, you guys are moving on towards wish fulfillment, like straight up. Moving on towards Wish Fulfillment, King of Cups. You have the Queen of Cups out here, the High Priestess, the Star. You guys are moving on, Eight of Cups, walking away. You guys are waking up to a situation. Some of you guys can feel a little bit restless, but there's good information coming in. There's good news coming in, okay? So I'm going to leave this reading here. Uh, if it resonates, give you clarity or guidance in any way, please holla. Let me know. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button, show your support, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.